I just put my arm out and you could stay my arm every time. I think also fun for me, oh. more fun for me than you, but I think it would be cool for me to just go around and fight a bunch of bugs because I think that's good for people to see. Ew. Just like being excited about it. I mean, yes, but you have to know what. <laughs> hey! You have to know exactly what you're getting. Shut you, claim it was up for 54 months. Boom, bam, coconut. So, thank you for the 54 months. Hello, everybody. It's time to play with poop. What do you think? There's a raid. Dude, no way. Pirate again? software. Again. We have to go outside and show them the animals right now. Chat, these are not bots. It's just the greatest community on Twitch. <laughs> Next to Elvis is, of course, oh quick, God. don't go anywhere. Come with me. You guys want to see some animals? Thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate that. I DM'd you on Twitter, but you don't follow me, um, so you probably didn't see it, but I DM'd you to thank you for the raid to Elvis. I really appreciate it. Um, hello, everybody. Welcome to an animal sanctuary. I'm also a professional gamer myself, so you'll fit in really well here. <laughs> This is a 501c3 nonprofit animal sanctuary. We rescue animals just like pirate software rescues ferrets. And um, we curate educational wow. programs with they those animals. So, thank you for the sub. So, we have wow. parrots here, we have crows, Zero we have foxes, we have marmosets, which are little monkeys. Thank you for the 10 tier 1 subs. We have wow. an emu, we have a cow, we have reptiles, we have insects. And on the Alvea Sanctuary channel. If you look at that channel, you can see them all right now in their enclosures. There are 24 7 live cams. But on this channel, I do a bunch of education to teach you guys about what you can do to help these animals' wild counterparts and what you can do to help our natural world as a whole. We are a conservation education organization. Thank you for the eight months. Yeah, check out the live cams. We're going right here. Look at that. We're going to the pasture. I'm going to introduce you to some of my friends. Wow. Ask underscore tactical sub for the first time. Thank you for the sub. Okay, exciting. Welcome to the pasture, people. This is Acero, Serrano, Jalapeno, Winnie the Moo, and Stompy. Hello. That, oh, sorry. He's not very good at not running into people. This is Stompy. Stompy is a common emu. Acero is, I'm, I'm ah. <laughs> Move. This is Stompy. Just gifted five tier one subs. Thank you for the five. Stompy's an emu. This is an Australian ratite, okay, related to ostriches, cassowaries, rias. Acero! Stompy was the first ambassador that we got here. He's really cool and he likes hugs. I will give you a demonstration. Stompy, can I? Horse, if you don't get out of the shot. Stompy, can I have a duck? Can I have a chip a chip? Oh, he's so nice. That's so nice. 400 bits. Yarbongos, yarbongos, yarbongos. <laughs> Horse! <laughs> this is Winnie the Moo! She's a baby cow. She's not really a baby. She's gonna be two years old in March. Um, she was rescued from a beef operation in Oklahoma. Horse! He was rescued from a beef op. She was rescued from a beef operation in Oklahoma. Dude, no. <laughs> She's a Red Angus beef cow. Um, so she was going to be slaughtered for beef at about a year old. She's gonna be two years old in March. Um, so instead she lives here. Um, I use Winnie to teach people about the beef industry um, and the effects it has on the environment and a little bit about animal welfare as well. 
Um, generally speaking, you don't have to go vegan, but um, eating less beef is much better for the environment if you can help it. And Winnie's really cute and cool. She's really, oh my God, her head's really heavy. <laughs> She's really good at teaching people. And her name is Winnie the Moo. Let's hear more about horse. No, okay, that, he's not even a part of the education program. That's just my horse. I've had him since I was 12. He's 21 now. <laughs> so he, uh, he lives here because I live here and I own the sanctuary, but he's not even like a rescued animal. He's just my childhood horse. Don't worry about him. Worry about Winnie and my favorite part of Winnie, her bottom lip. Every time I say that, she makes it so hard for you to shoot it. Winnie! These are the donkeys. That's Jalapeno. And that's Serrano. Wow. Same mommy name resubbed for four months. Just your childhood horse, poor guy. No, I love that horse. Okay, he's just, he's just not part of the educational programming. Serrano is being friends with Stompy right now. It's very nice. Uh, the donkeys were rescued off of a feedlot as well. Donkeys and other livestock are uh, sometimes slaughtered for pet food, like cat and dog kibble, uh, for glue and for medicine. Um, oh, what's going on there? Are they... Okay. Do you want to see some parrots? Really quick, and then we'll come back and... Give everybody in here some food. She wants to leave. Winnie gets let out sometimes. So she wants that right now to be one of those times. Maybe later today. Goat in a wheelbarrow, surprise. That's oatmeal. That's Tripper. <laughs> this is Pee Wee. <laughs> Pee Wee and Tripper are boer goats. They were gonna be uh, sold for meat as well this past year. Now they live here. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys the parrots and then I'm gonna get to work. I am by myself today on the sanctuary, so we are doing all of the feeding, cleaning, and enrichment prep. Uh, just, just me today, and you guys. And Oliver, it's our rooster. Welcome to the parrot aviary. These are a couple of our parrots. Up here, the gray one is Mia. She's an African gray, and Siren. Um, Siren is a blue-fronted Amazon. Would you like to come say hi to Pirate Software's community? Here she comes. Hello, birdie. Oh, wow. Mr. Underscore Mojo Underscore Raisin Resubbed for 16 months. Hello. Wow. Thank you. This is Siren. Um, she was originally rescued from a zoo. Uh, she was supposed to be a breeding parrot, and she did not successfully breed with any birds, so she was abandoned at that zoo. Um, and then she was someone's pet. Um, parrots are really hard to have as pets because they're really loud um, and they're really destructive. And they can chew through wood and scream at like 130 decibels, which is really loud. And they can live, and they can live 50 to 60 years. She can live 50 to 60 years. Sea shanty for the pirates. She hasn't really been into singing lately. I can try. Um, Siren likes singing happy birthday. Here, I'll show you. Hold on. You want a treat? Is 
Siren? I don't know. You want a treat? Can you show them how you sing happy birthday? Sing happy birthday. Happy birthday. Good job. Thank you for gifting. She does only talk when I talk. That's how she sings happy birthday. Can you sing happy birthday? Birthday. Wow, amazing. Amazing. Can you say hello to them? That's nice. So, Siren likes singing happy birthday. Oh, there's drama. Um, you can have this. No, that's for her. Siren, come here. Come over here. Okay. Uh, she likes singing happy birthday. We tried teaching her another song, a sea shanty. Um, hoist the colors. And so she tries to sing it, but she kind of sings with the lyrics of happy birthday. This is her birthday shanty. Siren, come here. Siren, don't. Siren, come here. Hello. Can you sing your birthday shanty? <laughs> siren, stop. Siren, she's not doing anything. Thank you so much. Siren, stop. Come here. Okay, there's too much drama right now for her to do this. Hold on. Siren, pause. Pause. Come over here, eat this seed. Mia, can you please step up? Thank you so much. Can you show them a little dance? No. Mia's moving over here. Thank you very much. Siren, let's go again. Now that there's no drama. Here you go. Hi. Hi. Can you sing? That's just happy birthday. I swear she kind of sings the sea shanty too. No singing today, huh? That one was really good. That's really nice of you to say. <laughs> Is that funny? Because it wasn't very good. Is it funny? Yeah, birthday. All right, that's Siren. She's a lot. Um, then we have Tico and Miley over here. Tico's with the big wings. That's so nice. Uh, Tico and Miley are macaws. Tico is a blue and gold macaw, and Miley is a Catalina macaw. Macaws are exceptionally tough to have as pets um, because their beaks are really strong. They can bite really hard. This is them chewing through a whole pecan. Can you demonstrate? Thank you. Wow. Their beaks are really, really strong. They can scream at 130 decibels, which is uh, just below the threshold for pain, but I can personally, anecdotally attest to it is above the threshold for pain. Um, and it can cause hearing loss from prolonged exposure. Um, and they can literally bite your finger off. 
and chew through wood. And these guys live 60 to 70 years. So it's like having a toddler that can chew through wood and cause hearing loss uh, and chew through your fingers for 60 years, which just usually is not realistic for people. So a lot of them end up in rescues. But yeah, those are the macaws. That's Mia saying Mia over there. And that's Siren saying, who knows what Siren says. Hello, Mama. <laughs> All right. Okay, bird. Thank you for your time. Can I pet? No. Mia, can I pet? Can I pet you? Oh, that's nice. Thank you. You're nice. Nice bird. Nice bird. How strong are the claws? Uh, the claws are not so bad. It's not really what you have to worry about. It's mostly the beak. Uh, they, they can't grip all that hard. Okay. Sorry. What's the plan for today? The plan is take care of all of the animals. If you want to RP a zookeeper for a day, you're in the right place. Because Every animal at Alveus needs to be fed, cleaned, and enriched today by me. You may notice my title is playing with poop. That's because I'm starting in the pasture and I'm gonna muck the pasture. Look at the ghosts. <laughs> They're relaxing. Um, before I went live, I've already cleaned the parrots and the chickens. Uh, I prepped all the enrichment. Lindsay prepped my diets yesterday. Uh, so bad. I'm gonna leave this here and pray the goats don't get it. But you never know. You're gonna get bugs in here. Okay, hater. It's only gonna happen because you said it. You want me to carry it? Well, I'm, I'm not gonna chug it, and then I'm gonna throw up. I was drinking a wasp like that. Stung the inside of my mouth. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. I hate that. <laughs> he said he drank a wasp like that once that stung the inside of his mouth. Okay, remind me to look in that before I drink it again. Okay. The pasture gets mucked every day. You know what? Horse and cow are out today. I'm not dealing with this. Just get out. Just go. Just go. Just go! Oh my gosh. Winnie. The horse and cow are out. Incoming chicken. Every day we muck the pasture. The reason my title is playing with poop is because I do some sick tricks with the poop. Check this out. I'm gonna throw it in the wheelbarrow. Wow. Death grade You guys ready? Dinosaur chicken. It's a really terrible use of my time when I have to do the whole sanctuary today. All right. Ready? Oh. Oh, I don't feel good about this. Oh! We're so close. Forget it. Forget I said anything. Maybe if I do it over my head. close though, right? Are you impressed at all? Not a great idea. You sound like a hater to me. I don't know. 
I'm having fun and that's all that matters. Please! Scooping up rocks. Anyway, the pasture gets mucked every day. There's a uh, cow poop, donkey poop, horse poop everywhere. So we need to get it out so they have a clean place to roam. And we also need to give them hay. At least the title isn't clickbait. You're welcome. Oh my gosh, what a nightmare. That's how you break pitchforks. Rocks. Rocks! That was the beginning of a song. Did you guys hear it? Flip, did you hear it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Rocks! <laughs> wow. We back underscore age nine resub for 30 months. Thank you for the 30 months. I think there were gifted subs too while I was talking. Um, thank you for the gifted subs. Nice resub for 11 months. Guys, I have a huge announcement. Actually, I'm not baiting you. I have a huge announcement and I just found out yesterday. Um, Flip and I are going to Brazil. <laughs> I got a message yesterday from, Flip is the cameraman, if you're still from, from the raid. We're going to Brazil, uh, specifically the Amazon. Uh, which neither of us have ever been. Have you been out of the country? Mexico. Okay, let's go to Mexico. Um, Joe Segrist, uh, CEO of Purple Martin Conservation Association, reached out to me yesterday, said that he's bringing a group of about a dozen people out to Brazil to see the Purple Martin migration. The Purple Martins that we went to see on stream in Austin, like the birds that I made the YouTube video about and I did the stream with, they're migrating to Brazil, and so we're gonna go find them there. <laughs> Even though we saw them here. So they'll be in Brazil by late February. So we are going very soon. Um, we have plans to do that, and Flip and I are currently working on planning out, scripting out what videos we wanna do there. I'm not gonna try to stream because streaming internationally um, has been really hard for me and really stressful. But Flip and I are going to film some like documentary style videos when we go there. I'm very excited. Um, it should be really cool. It should be actually more than really cool. I'm really like underselling how excited I am. I think as a conservationist, there are few places more important to see with your own eyes than the Amazon. And so I am super mega stoked about it. I'm excited to see the vid. Uh, there will be several, I think is what we're thinking. I don't know how many, but we're talking about doing a handful while we're there. I just don't know what yet. Let us know if you need ideas. I do, I do, but I don't want to try to crowdsource ideas right now because I'm a little occupied. Totally ever 420 donated $77. Wow! Holy smokes. Thank you so much. Organic. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Um, all your donations today obviously go to the sanctuary. Uh, I really appreciate that. That's amazing. Cool. Poop. Poop. Poop, 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 poop. I need to go down to these trees to look for poop. Rocks! Look, we got a new shelter built in the pasture. It's almost done, it just needs a roof. The other pasture shelter roof is corrugated metal, but I don't think that they like going under it when it rains because it's really loud. So we're gonna try to do shingles and see if it's quieter and see if they like it more. The poop radar. 
Guys, guess how much a single cow poops and pees in a day? In gallons. <laughs> in gallons, please, as the metric. Thank you for the 22 months. Good call on shingles, we'll see. 20, 500 gallons, 8 gallons, 12 gallons, 17 gallons, a lot, 10 gallons, 12 gallons, 100, 1,000, um, it's 17 gallons. 17 gallons of poo poo and pee pee a day. Isn't that crazy? I think it's pretty impressive. I thought there'd be poop in here and there's not. Well, good thing I came all the way down here with this heavy wheelbarrow full of poop to find no poop. <laughs> my worst fear is going uphill with a wheelbarrow and my foot slipping out like this and then falling face first into it, you know? All right, who wants to see another trick shot? That's two pieces of poop, it won't work. I'm going over my head again. Okay, from downtown, this one's for Roxanne. That was so does that count? Damn it, really? It was so close. More fell out than fell out. No! No, he's right. More of it fell out than went in. It doesn't count. Oh! Look, a friend. Look, chat. This is a dung beetle. He's scared because I just picked him up, but wait, he's got a really cute face. <laughs> Look at him. Dung beetles are really cool. Um, for the first time. These are the guys that you see rolling balls of poop. That's what he does. Oh, sorry. Um, they have really strong exoskeletons, so he's fine. Uh, they are flighted, so he might fly away. We'll see. Um, dung beetle, D-U-N-G. Uh, there's over 10,000 species of dung beetle. Some of them roll poop. Um, some of them burrow in poop. Some of them tunnel and bring poop down. Look at how cute he is. <laughs> He's cleaning. <laughs> um, he's on the clock right now, but I'm going to take this pile of poop for him. They're detritivores. They're really, really important for breaking down uh, fecal matter. If you don't like having poop everywhere when you're walking around on the street and in the grass at the park, uh, then you have to like dung beetles because he's the one cleaning it up for you. Look at this. He's so cute. He's cleaning. He's so clean for a guy that lives in poop and eats it all day. <laughs> Admit that's cute. I'm not a fan of his occupation. Okay, he's not a fan of your occupation. He thinks it's stupid. Actually, he enjoys the limelight. He's very happy. Everybody say thank you to the little beetle. Beetle. He's cute. He is not what he eats. True. <laughs> True. Um, actually, the little ones. Oh, he's pooping. People the cool wow. thing about dung beetles Chinese and other detritivores. You see that? Months. Thank you, beetle. Is this is not the same as the poop that he eats. Um, they break down poop into things that plants can use to grow, uh, or that soils can use to grow plants. Um, without them, we could not grow plants, which means you couldn't have fruits and vegetables uh, and any produce that you eat. Sorry, bud. Kind of sick. It's a circle of poop. All right, another one. Do you think I'm gonna get at this one? Ah, ah, ah. 
This one's for the dung beetle. I'm gonna call him Poopy. Or Poopy. Oh, it was short. Damn. It's tough to watch while eating. Okay, yeah, well, he thinks you're ugly. <laughs> so, <laughs> take that. I can only do that with cow poop. Horse poop, cow poop is like all together. Horse poop is a bunch of little um, ones so I can't throw them all. They would go everywhere like shrapnel. Oh, poop. Please, please, please. Look at the donk. It's actually a good time now that the horse and cow are outside to uh, treat the donkey's legs. One of our donkeys got a little cut on his leg. I don't think it's bleeding. He might not, not actually eat anything. And another one, flies um, really bully his legs. Um, and so we have to put medicine on them every day, try to keep the flies off. We should do that before the horse and cow come back so that I can do it in peace. Yeah, oh, the reason his foot is blue, sorry. Uh, it's because he cut his leg and the spray that we put on, it's called Blue Coat. <laughs> um, it's an antiseptic spray and it's blue. That is why. The poop goes in a dumpster. There's too much poop to spread as fertilizer here. Um, soils have a saturation point with how much nutrients they receive. And if we tried to spread all the poop around this property, it would just be covered in poop. It wouldn't break down fast enough. So it gets put in a dumpster and it gets taken out. Our dumpster actually got taken out today. It's pretty nice. Poop. No. Overdose of poop. We do not have an elephant. Uh, that would be cool, but we need more land for that. We have about 15 acres out here. All right. I also forgot my bottle of disinfectant. I need to clean their water today. Let's go get that. Wow. Paragon 95 Sad. I wish for 22 I had that. Months. Hello, baby cow. Let's go get that, and we will clean their water. Hello, donkey. And then we will, oh, it's on the fence, nice. Hello, I need to put spray on your legs. And then we will treat the donkey legs. And then we will give them hay for the day. Oh yeah, we're in Texas, sorry. Austin, Texas.
baby cow. Angry. All right. She wants food, and even though she's eating grass. Do you have to put shoes on the horse? No, actually, none of our equines have shoes on here. Uh, we're kind of lucky. Sometimes they do need shoes, but ours do not. The horse does get his feet trimmed every six weeks, though. Dang it, I forgot a key to unlock the feed stall. I will be climbing into the feed stall. All right. Ouch. So, we'll do the donkeys. This is a grain pouch. This is grain. And then this is it's on the outside. The spray that I was telling you about. The blue coat is this. Cool. All right, who's first? Serrano, can you come here? He's mad, he wants hay. Another raid. Briz, thank you so much for the raid. Hi guys, we're about to treat a donkey's legs. Make sure it's locked before you put it in your pocket. You can see on his legs there, hi, do you want some grain? You can see on his legs that the flies really bother him. Um, and they eat at his legs. So we put medicine on them every day. Some grain, yum. You see the spray. Good. Hippo pug, wow. Scary. Agaline and I supped for the first time. Touch. This is Serrano. Is it nice? Cow's peeing. Okay, I'm gonna spray, ready? Good. Good. All right, should I do the other one? Let's do the other one. Hey, donk. Touch. I need to do this with my left hand. Donkey, I will do you next. Good. It looks good, bud. Good job. Can you do a little more? Stompy's picking up the scraps. Touch. Touch. I just need to do one more. Go. Ready? Thank you. Good job. Do you need some more on your cut? Maybe a little bit? Are you going to let me do that? Are you gonna let me do that? <laughs> you're gonna cause drama. I don't think you're gonna let me do that and you're certainly not. Good. Chat, distract that donkey. Can I touch? He said no. 
That's okay. He's not bleeding anymore. I don't actually think that he needs it. I would like to do some fly spray, but... Much better. Touch. Thanks. Wow. Hi, chicken. You want some? Okay. Some resupt for 21 months. <laughs> Donk. Okay. All right. Stompy likes horse grain. Do 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 Okay, these hay bags need to be filled up and I need to clean their water. Stompy is like a dinosaur. Um, I mean, is a dinosaur, birds are dinosaurs. Um, all of our birds do about, what, over 10,000 species of birds on this planet. They're all um, ancestors, ancestors of theropods three-toed, two-legged dinosaurs look very, very much like Stompy does. A really famous theropod is a terror bird. It's uh, very large, like much larger than we are. But the skeleton of a terror bird compared to Stompy skeleton are like, it's so cool because they look the exact same. Hey bags. We have one, two, four hay bags to fill up. Terror bird, yeah, T-E-R-R-O-R. -R. So a flying stompy is still grounded. Stompy is uh, not flighted. Does have wings that I can show you in a second if you want, but uh, they're definitely not for flight. Go go get that last feed bag. How to keep track of all the chores. Uh, we have a checklist in the nutrition house. Just ride the emu around. I don't know if Stompy could. People do ride ostriches. Uh, probably not uh, something that the ostriches want. I don't know. I've never actually seen it. But I'm not sure that Stompy could hold a. Uh, maybe it could hold someone up, but I would never do that. Stompy, can you show them your wings? Come here, chicken. Come here. Good bird. They want to see your wings. They want to see your wings. Hi. Can I show them? This is Stompy's wing. It's uh, pretty freaking small. <laughs> he does have a claw though. Dinosaur. You see it? He walked away. He has a claw on his wing. Sorry. Scary. Chicken wing. Wow. <laughs> Anna is up for seven months. Stompy white people happy. Thank you for the seven months. Need to clean this water and fill it up. <laughs> uh, you guys heard about the emu war? Do you know what that is? Do you know what happened? Do you want to know what happened? Or do you not care? If you've watched my stream, you've definitely heard me talk about it. I don't have to talk about it. If you don't want me to.
You're not a, you know what? I take it back. You're not allowed to troll this bear me if we've gotten raids this morning. Because people don't know about it. So I am going to talk about it. Thank you for the eight months. Um, in 1932, farmers were given a bunch of land after the war. And emus in Australia, native to Australia, were an agricultural pest. And they ate the farmer's crops. And instead of going to the Minister of Agriculture to handle the problem, uh, they went to the Minister of Defense. I don't, I still don't really know why they did that. They went to the Minister of Defense and they were like, war. And the Minister of Defense was like, yes. And they let them go to war with emus. What that meant is they got permission to go out and try to cull emu populations with like machine guns. Um, but emus, Stompy, can run like 30 miles an hour. And so they just dodged. <laughs> they just dodged uh, the machine guns and were too fast. And then they gave up. The farmers gave up, I mean. So that's how Australia lost a war to emus. That's you, Stompy. The, the TLDR is they just like, they wasted so much ammo and so many resources on trying to kill emus, um, but killed so few that Australia was like, yeah, this is not worth the resources and not working. So they just quit. For you, chicken. Stompy likes water a lot. In subbed for the first time. Clean water. Okay, that's Stompy's pool in Cabana, but it's not hot outside enough for Stompy to use his pool. Wow. Skill eighty nine resubbed for twenty four months. I came here to look at poop. I think there's 24 the months. Oh, uh, there's a bunch in there if you want to look at it. Majestic chicken. How big are their brains? Stompy's brain is 0.06% of his body mass. Pog, wow. Sassaris tricrisubbed for two months. Lost water birds. And he weighs, what, about 100 pounds or so? Yay, water for Stompy. I'm over here. Hello. I am filling up the hay bags right now for the pasture and I'm gonna go hang them around the pasture. Hay goes in bags um, because horses and donkeys and cows are grazing animals uh, which means that their stomachs are designed for them to eat small bits all day long. Um, that's what's best for their digestion so these slow down their eating number one uh, and number two Thank you for the eight months. And number two, it keeps them from eating too much sand. Uh, like if they're eating it off the ground, they can consume a lot of sand and that can lead to colic uh, or like stomach issues, um, which can be really dangerous for them. So that's why we feed them. That's why we fill up these bags. Also, I saw this idea on TikTok. It's 
pretty sick, if you ask me. I'm pretty stoked about it myself. Oh, that's a heavy one. You guys wanna see something cool? You wanna see how fast I can tie this knot? You wanna see how fast I can tie this piece of twine in a knot? Did you think that was cool? Flip loves when I do that. Um, I don't have a knife. Poopy. What kind of hay is it? Coastal grass. Guys, fun life hack. If you don't have a knife when you're trying to open your bale of coastal, you can use other twine. And friction. A lesson in friction, everybody. Hooray, wow, crowd goes wild, so cool. Magic, amazing. Look out, Chad's chicken. He's eating a little bit of hay. He can have a little bit of hay as a treat. Just kidding, Stompy eats hay all day. Emus can eat a bunch of stuff. They're omnivores, Stompy will eat bugs. If he could catch a lizard, he would eat it. That was not really a shot. I just have never personally seen him do it. But in the wild, I know that they do. Look at this. That's all. Is it warm in Texas? In the summer? Yeah, it's a little warm. I would say currently we're in like a couple of the only bearable months out of the year. It's been really beautiful here lately. It's pretty sick. One more hay bag. Hello? Do 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 heavy. Thank you. Thank you for the nineteen months. All right. Chat, look out. Hey, can go bad. Yeah, you have to keep it dry. If it gets wet, uh, it can mold. And then it's bad. Then it goes bad. Alright. I'm gonna hang one bag here. I think. I'm gonna hang it here. Thank you. How many calories in each bag? That is a question I don't know the answer to, but it's a good question. I don't know. Um, this, all four of these bags of hay will last the pasture almost the whole day. Uh, if not the whole day. Donks! He's excited. <laughs> hey time! <laughs> Yay! They're so excited. <laughs> There you go, for you. This one is gonna go over here for you. Donkeys do like carrots. Yeah, we could give them some carrots later. For you, 
One more hay bag. You've never heard that from the dogs before? They do hee-haw. Baby cow, you were the one that chose to go outside and I don't have a key to unlock that gate. So if you guys want to come in, you're going to have to go through the other gate. I know you don't speak English, but that's how it is, you know? Check out this retractable hose. All right, hey, done, water, done, mucking, almost done. Oh my gosh, okay, great. Pretty light. Light work. You stepped in that poo. Did you know that? <laughs> I saw his foot marks in it. <laughs> There's poop down there. I'm going here. Oh. Pile of poop. This poop. Is that alfalfa? Uh, no, it's grass. Coastal grass. Alfalfa is more expensive and it's a lot higher in sugar. Um, I really only use alfalfa when I've had horses that are working like five days a week but they don't really need it out here. Caramelon resort for seven months. It looks really fun. <laughs> Does it? Thank you for the seven months. Yeah, I'm having a blast. No, it's really not that bad. I don't mind mucking. Um, it's gotta be done, you know? Just stick in there. I left my F10 bottle over there. I need to bring it outside. Do 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 my least favorite part of mucking is dumping the wheelbarrow in the dumpster because it's heavy and it's hard to do. But sometimes some things have got to be done. It's one big pile of sheet. Yeah, it's a lot of poop. Oh my gosh, there's more poop. No poop left behind. She's pissed off, but she left the pasture. She chose to leave before I put the hay out. Now she's mad. I'll let you in, Winnie. I 
see one more. Oh, there's two more piles of poop. Two more piles of poop and then we're done. Should I do one more? All right. Last one over the head for Winnie. Uh, uh, uh. I actually, for whatever reason, I don't feel good about this one. I don't know if it's the topography. Oh my God. Frick yeah, dude. What the hell? I just need to be less confident. That's the trick. Look, it's a chicken. Hi. Stompy chicken. Stompy chicken. people that is all what do you think stompy what do you think <sighs> i'm stalling i don't want to do this stompy how you could you wow barren barrel resubbed for four months thank you for the four months Perfect. Beetle, don't. <laughs> Thank you, cameraman. <laughs> all right, it's all downhill from here, but I actually mean that in a good way. Now. Winnie! 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 She wants to go through. Hi, this is Beetle. Beetle. <laughs> um, all right. Time to go dump this wheelbarrow. When? Where? Oh, she's coming. Come on, Winnie! Don't run over any goats. Look out. You want to go in? Yeah, headbutt the cow, dumb. Here you go. Wow. Are you... Jazzamu subbed for the first Winnie? time. Winnie? Are you serious? Do you want to go in? <laughs> Winnie, go. Okay, <laughs> what's the attitude? Okay, man, she is, I don't know who raised her, but they made her a brat. It was me. <laughs> really? Which one? <laughs> In fairness, she had a right to be afraid. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. I need to pick up a few things from here. Hello, Siren. Hi. Okay. It wasn't just me that raised Winnie. I also put the blame on everybody that works at Elvis. <laughs> Kidding. That's just how Winnie is. She's a very sassy, spicy lady. That is from me cleaning the chickens earlier today. And then I have trash bag from the parrot, parrot aviary. It's Chat's fault that she's like that. Trash bag and 
chicken produce that they did not eat. Great. Okay. All right. Guys, bear with the camera. Um, sometimes the backpack doesn't like coming down this direction as we go towards the dumpster. The chickens are taking dust baths. They like it. Um, if it gets a little wonky, I'm sorry. Right. Here we go. We're going to the dumpster. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do you guys have any questions about the animals that you've seen so far that I can answer for you? I've seen the parrots, the chickens, the pasture animals. Oh my god. Please. Is this in Texas? Yeah, we're in Austin, Texas. To crazy dog game. They have given Does Stompy still hate Winnie? No. Stompy's channel. been really nice. Uh, or not really nice, but more nice than normal lately. Um, we just got this new dumpster today. Why? I think I need to push it. Other side? No, it's just, just hinges. Now I get the wheelbarrow in here. Excellent. They can stay open. Shitty job. That's a crazy thing to say. I feel like I did a really good job. We 
we have to go clean the marmosets and the crows and the foxes. Now, the marmosets are the little monkeys. We go clean the little monkeys. We should maybe water break. There's Tripper, little goat. Hi, Trip. that stuff. It's pretty, it's pretty easy. It's fine. Thank you for the sub. Hi chicken. Chickens. Get this. Get this. I think we should clean the chinchillas before we clean the marmosets and crows and foxes because then I can start the laundry um, earlier. Soda can. You're right. Woo! is continuing the gift sub they got from Sudders underscore. I don't I can't tell I don't trust it. I'm scared now. You've given me a new fear. I've never thought about but probably should have thought about. Did she get the off ten? No, it's in the pasture. I'm not going. <laughs> I'm not going back. I'll go back later. When I bring a Sarah in. The girl talking about how foxes pee in their water. Did you see that on TikTok? I have talked about that. That is me. Our foxes do pee in their water. That's funny. <laughs> I think my hair looked better in that clip than it does right now. <laughs> Okay. Back up here. Nutrition house. Welcome. Okay. Wash, hand. That's Polly. She's cool. Need water. Let's check off. This is the list for today. Red is stuff I've already done. Now we muck the pasture and disinfect the pasture water. I have to do all this stuff. I'm getting my water. She's grown so much, yeah. Use rat, oh yeah, I have a rat to feed out today. <laughs> Um, should I do this right now, really quick? While we're water breaking. Um, guys, real quick. Oh, 
Oh, I'm switching in. Can you hear me? Hi. Really quick, while I take a water break here. Pirate Software, thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate it. Um, I'm gonna do this bounty really quick. Um, it is American Eagle, so I'm like, <laughs> um, American Eagle, American Eagle, we're going to look at American Eagle men's products and talk about what you guys want to buy slash what I would want to buy if I was buying men's products. Slow down. Sorry, am I talking too fast? American Eagle has men's jeans and bottoms, athletic fit jeans, relaxed fit jeans, pant, pants, cargo cord carpenter pants, um, men's joggers, and they have men's tops, flannel shirt, uh, jackets, sweatshirts, and men's underwear. So today we can look at some underwear. This is an ad. Oh, wow. Yes, I'm sorry, but it will be, it'll be quick. Thank you for sticking around. Snick, thank you for the sub. Do you guys want to look at some underwear? <laughs> How fortuitous, I need pants. Oh, excellent news. <laughs> Here we are. Here we are with men's athletic jeans, relaxed jeans, boot cut jeans, straight cut jeans, slim jeans, and skinny jeans. Um, where is men's tops, hoodies and sweatshirts, t-shirts and thermals, thermals, shirts and flannels. Let's see. I wear jeans sometimes. Yeah, I learned recently that some men just never ever wear jeans. Like they don't own jeans, which I think is kind of crazy because I wear jeans constantly. I hate jeans. What the heck? I love jeans. I only wear jeans. We can get them from American Eagle if you want. I love a good super soft flannel. Look at all these colors. Wow. Wow. This is very Christmassy. I like it. Wow. Wow. Wait, actually I like this one. I would wear this smile. I would wear this as a woman smile. Men's underwear. I will tell you the first time I did this ad, I was very scared. But now I'm not. <laughs> so now I'm gonna show you guys some men's underwear really quickly, cause they have a lot of fun ones. Like, look at this. Wow. How insane is this? Imagine. What a fun gift. Look, another one. This one's for Santa. Can you explain? Uh, what? Explain what part? It's a Santa hat. Hello, scum art. I'm just doing a quick ad. Um... So yeah, uh, there you have it. They also, look at these, how cute are these? Christmas dogs, admit these are actually cool. If I wore boxers, these are the boxers that I would wear for Christmas, for December, all of December. Hello, welcome to the stream. Just doing a quick advertisement here. Thank you for being here. Uh, these also very festive. 
Wahoo. This is just an excuse for Maya to look at men in underwear. Don't make it, don't be weird. I'm doing my job right now. Look how cute. Look, candy canes. Wow, fun, amazing. What do you guys think? The cookies are cute? They are! Jingle bells, jingle bells. This is nice. This is very like Oregon barista, but in a good way. You know what I mean? It's a nice jacket. Bottoms and cargos, let me tell you something about cargos. Um, they are it right now. And they're also, I'm either wearing jeans or I'm wearing cargos because I work at an animal sanctuary. Uh, they're pretty sick. Imagine all these pockets. You could put so many things in these pockets, like um, snacks and your phone and flip what would you put in your pocket? Huh? What would you put in your pocket? Um, if you had an extra pocket. I would put pancakes. He said pancakes. You could fit that in one of those pockets because they're really big pockets. Based. Based! Anyway, um, if you guys are interested... Uh, in getting anything from American Eagle uh, for someone for Christmas, that could be very cool. Um, they have men's underwear, uh, they have men's tops, they have men's jeans and bottoms. Um, and you can check them out on American Eagle. There should be a link flowing through chat. Um, at the moment, I'm going to list off the kinds of things that they have so that you can see just bought the snowman? Are you serious? <laughs> you bought the snowman underwear? Copies like really push the underwear. It actually does not say that. <laughs> Getting my BF cookies underwear is cute. It's cute. Um, athletic fit jean, classic straight leg fit, um, relaxed fit jean, pant, cargo court and carpenter pants, men's joggers also. Uh, I feel like if I was a dude, I would just wear joggers all the time because it's like sweats. I guess I could wear joggers all the time now, actually. Uh, men's tops, flannels, jackets, and sweatshirts. Uh, the sweatshirts have no large logos on the front. Is that important to you guys? If it is, you're in luck. Super soft hoodie quilted, lined hood to keep you extra toasty, and men's underwear. Um, funny with comfort with an emphasis on limited holiday styles, antimicrobial flex fabric, perfect for your everyday wear. There you go. Buying the Santa hat right now. Yeah, if you guys want underwear, that I'll give you a reminder of uh, what those look like. If you want to get a man in your life something really special for Christmas, you could get this. It's a snowman. My dad will love these. Thank you for your time. That's all. Thank you, guys. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Pirate software was here the whole time. <laughs> Please, I do important work. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Stop making me look bad. Satan. Stop. <laughs> Thank you for the tier three. This T-Pain. 
That was a tier three sub. Elsa Tanks just subbed at tier three for 27 months. Thank you. Easy PC. All right, you guys want to see some chinchillas? We need to clean the chinchilla enclosure and we need to weigh them. All right. When did T-Pain record that for you? It was a long time. He didn't record it for me. I rated him and he just did that when I rated him. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we took the sound, sound clip. All right. Flip is getting the camera. Sick. What got you into this line of work? Fun question. Um, I grew up on a farm, so I've always been around animals. So it was always gonna be animals in some capacity. Uh, and then in college, I started working at zoos and um, started doing conservation education in a traditional format. So like going to schools and birthday parties and stuff like that to teach kids about animals. And then started doing it online on Twitch in 2019. Okay, before we release the beasts, we need to put up the beast. The beasts being the chinchillas, the beast being Polly. Polly? Hello, chicken. You have to go in your crate. Hello? <laughs> okay. This is Polly. Wow. Drop to 69 resubbed for five months. Can you go in your crate? Thanks. Okay. Sorry, she moves quickly. Polly is a uh, bantam silky chicken. Right. Put this up, the chinchillas, and we will release the chinchillas so I can clean their enclosure. Hi, do you wanna come out? This is Snork. They move quick, everybody. People pug, wow. Logan underscore is up for 21 months. Alvius love. Goodbye. Hello, Moomin. Wait, that's Snork. Sorry, this is Snork. She's a chinchilla. We have the chinchillas. Um, they get let out every day so they can run around and stuff. Um, we have the chinchillas to teach people. You gonna go back in your cage? I have to clean it. To teach people about the fur trade. Um, <laughs> hi. Excuse me. It takes, guess how many chinchillas it takes to make a fur coat? They can hold signs too. Sometimes they hold things. Snork. Can you come here? Can you, can you hold? Can, oh, she's gonna hold the camera. Can you hold? Hold. Oh. <laughs> she doesn't want to. Uh, it takes like 125. Uh, Cause they're really little, but people love their fur. Um, and that almost wiped them out in Peru. Uh, they're native to Peru. I think a lot of people, chinchillas and parrots alike, a lot of times people don't think about wild chinchillas. Can you not do that? <laughs> or their uh, wild counterparts. Um, technically, these are domestic versions of, of the, their wild counterpart. But originally, they're native to Peru. Um, and they were almost wiped out in Peru because of the fur trade. Um, because people wanted chinchilla fur because it's very soft. But now they're protected and doing much better. Whoa. This is going to take me a minute. Coggers, yeah. Yeah, 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 they like their wheel. They get a blanket change every other day um, and they get spot cleaned every other day. 
alternating. Today is a full blanket change day for them and a spot clean for the rats. Are you gonna eat his shoes? That's nice. She will do damage, if you're okay with that. Chinchillas are rodents, um, so as you can imagine, they have really strong teeth. The chins love flip. Um, you guys wanna see if they'll let me weigh them today? Chins? May I? How much do you guys think they weigh? In grams. Three hundred grams, four hundred fifty grams. It's totally valid to, to have no idea because we don't usually weigh things in grams, but we weigh them in grams. Snark, can you weigh? Oh, can, you missed. Can you weigh? Can you? That, that'll good. That's good. 678 grams. Very good, Moomin. Okay, now you can go away. <laughs> I have recorded your weight. Stay. No. You're not really on a scale. Wait, what the heck happened? Did you zero it out? Now she says 14 grand. Can you get off? Something happened. Okay. No, movement. <laughs> get off. Get off. Please. 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 Snark, come here. Snark. 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 Good. Come. Good. Good. Five hundred and fifty grams. Space, could you record those for me in our software? Five hundred and fifty grams. Hello. You are. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> they move so fast. Do you guys want to see Snork hold something? I'll get a piece of paper. What do you want it to say? Can you guys get off of me? <laughs> Please. <laughs> I have nothing. Do you understand? Nothing. Okay. He's like, yeah, I get it. I don't care then. Okay. All right, let's get a little, let's get a little message, message written. Ow. It's a little large for her. Hello. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Can you hold?
Look, she's amazing. She's doing it. Good. <laughs> Snark. One more. Hold. Hold. <laughs> Good. Good job. Wow, you're amazing. Can you scoop? Do you scoop or you're too big? Can you scoop? You're too big. <laughs> the rats scoop or like get on your hand so you can move them, but she's too big for my hand. You did a good job. Thank you very much, Moomin. You don't hold things, but here you go. Oh, he's holding this. Moomin, can you show them how you hold? He just ate it, huh? <laughs> Moomin, can you hold it? That's nice. <laughs> That's nice, buddy. These are uh, dried peas. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, yum. Okay, that's all. That is all. Oh my God. Just gonna chew my shoe. Are they decent pets? A couple people have asked that. Um, I wouldn't really recommend them, to be honest. Uh, these guys have had so much work, uh, so much time with people to be comfortable being like around on and touched by people interacted with. Generally speaking, they're not easy to interact with. Um, generally speaking, they're not very social with people. They're very skittish. Um, very quick to run away. Uh, they, you can't pick them up and hold them. They don't like that. Um, so, and they're a lot of work. Uh, like, like a lot of pets, people don't realize they're they're more work than they look like. Um, so I would not recommend them. Definitely not for kids because they can also bite. I would recommend a dog or a cat. That's my, uh, that's my hot take on pets. Choice of pet. Don't mind me. What? What is she biting? A no! They also chew through cords. So if you don't want to deal with that, you probably don't want one. Okay. They also harass cameramen. So if you don't want that. What? Is it in there? He was crawling in the oh. thing for a little and jumped out. Okay. Hey, <laughs> See that wall? They also do that. No! <laughs> Go do something else. Yeah, just don't get one. All right.
new blankies. Oh, I didn't get inside there. Hold. Just kidding, not new blankies yet. They also poop so much. Someone asked where we got this chinchilla cage. Um, it was custom made, unfortunately. Fortunately for us, maybe unfortunately for you, sorry. It is pretty sweet. Um, but yeah, we designed it and someone built it. Was he eating? No idea. Great. What? What is it? <laughs> the world will never know. Can I take a screenshot? Yeah, of course. It's a stream. You can take a screenshot if you want. There are pictures of the chinchillas on our socials, though. Um, if you want to go follow them, it's Alvea Sanctuary everywhere. TikTok, Instagram, Twitter. Um, you can go see pictures of them there. Ziv! The missile knows where it Clean. is at all times. It knows this because it knows where it isn't by subtracting where it is from where it isn't or where it isn't from where it is. Whichever is greater, it obtains a difference or deviation. The guidance <laughs> subsystem uses deviations to generate corrective commands to drive the missile from a position where it is to a position where it isn't and arriving at a position where it wasn't. It now is. Okay, thank you for the 27 months. Okay. Why is it named Alvea Sanctuary? I used to say that Twitch is an untapped reservoir for doing good often, because um, I used to have a podcast where we did lots of fundraising and we did a lot of good with that podcast. And then I founded this organization. And um, Reservoir in wow. Latin is Alveus. So that's where that came from. Snork, can you not harass the chicken? It's time to go back inside. Snork, come here. No, come here. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Okay, time to go inside. Time to go back home. Thank you. All right. No, she's not eating the plastic. She's just chewing it. Cage. Chinchilla is cleaned. Rats. Oh boy. We need to spot clean the rats, which means they need to come out as well. These are our rats. This is Chips Ahoy and Nilla Wafer. This is Chips. You come out? Okay, that's Chips. That's Nilla. Thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> it's really fun to, <laughs> it's really hard to watch. 
because it's frustrating to watch. Thank you. Thank you for gifting a sub. Um, we have two rats. They were going to be feeder rats uh, for snakes. But now they are here. Um, we have the rats to teach people about rodenticide use, uh, rat poison, and how it affects other wildlife. Um, when you put out rat poison and a rat eats it, and then an owl or something eats that rat, the owl gets poisoned as well. I think people don't realize that when they're using rat poison is how much wildlife they're affecting. Um, so we want to avoid rat poison and glue traps because those are both super inhumane. Um, and use natural methods instead. Um, or other types of rat traps if you really, really need to trap rats. Just avoid poisons. All right. Yes, the rats have all three layers of this enclosure. Hello, little rat. Would you like to run around? Oh, I didn't realize Chips was out. Hello. How are you? Do you need nothing? You guys are so clean. You're so clean. They get a blanket change tomorrow. But they're looking really good right now. Looking very good right now. We need to weigh the rats today, too. Let's weigh the rats. You guys want to guess how much they weigh in grams? If they let us weigh them? Little rats. 120, 100. Rats? Chips? Noah? Good. Did you weigh? Good job. Looked like 280 to me. But I think she needs to be on there a little longer. Thank you. That's nice. Nilla wafer, everybody. Now any chips? Chips? Oh, Chips is finding a bunch of Polly's food on the floor. <laughs> She's not going to come over here. Chips! Good job, Nilla. Sorry. Move the scale over there. Ouch. Chips. Keys. What are you finding? What are you finding? Good job. 338. 336. Three hundred and thirty-two. <laughs> I think I got three hundred and thirty-two. 
Nilla, you want to come away again? No, you're finding chicken food. Do you want to show them how you stand? No, you're finding chicken food. Do you want to... <laughs> come here. Okay. Nice jobs. Chicken food. Can you? Chips. Can you stand? Stand. Stand. Wow. That's amazing. Chips, can you stand? Okay. Can you stand? Stand. Wow. Good job. Hello, Polly. Did they learn to push the shopping carts? Um, don't get in the back. They did briefly learn how to do that. I don't know where the shopping cart is at the moment. Yes, the rats. Amazing, they are. Amazing. Oh, I, maybe not in there water <gasps> okay <laughs> just a little dip just a little dip in there rats I have enrichment for you if you would like it and your food you would be so kind as to go back home. Nilla? Let's see if they'll let me scoop them. Time to scoop them. Chips? Tragic. Can you scoop? Scoop. Thank you. There you go. The girls have been really, really great about training. Um, so we can do voluntary stuff like that instead of having to grab them to pick them up. Because um, nobody likes being restrained, manhandled. Nilla, can you scoop? Oh my god, there's chicken food everywhere. Nilla, please. Please, come here. Please, stop eating the chicken food. Can you scoop? Can you scoop? Scoop. Can you scoop? Scoop. Thank you. All right. Okay. Yes, I've seen ratatouille, it's incredible. Um, I gave the rats, oh, <laughs> they're getting after their food. Uh, but I also gave them enrichment. That white thing is uh, food wrapped in a, like a finger trap, like a Chinese finger trap. All right, let's check off some of this cleaning. Rats, chinchillas, wonderful. All right, rats are very smart. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Let's let Polly out. Polly, out you go. Thank you, ma'am. We gotta go see the monkeys and the crows and the foxes. And we gotta do this laundry. Let's put the laundry in and then go clean everybody. Oh, wow. How you doing, Flip? Cephalime resubbed for 37 yeah. months. Great. Oh. Cephalime? Thank you. Oh. I need F10 and some towels.
I did let Polly out. Laundry time. Welcome to the laundry room. Laundry sheet, laundry sheet, do, 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 laundry sheet. Oh yeah, check out this storage, are you kidding me? Look what we did to the laundry room. Doesn't it look sick? I mean, it looks sick. We've done a crazy job. Now all of our event stuff is organized, very exciting. We're taking the UTV. Chat, you ready to go for a ride? Ow, I bumped my elbow. Let's go see the monkeys. see the marmosets has anybody not seen the marmosets before any of you does anyone know what a marmoset is <laughs> i haven't seen them i haven't seen the marmosets before i feel like okay i know some of you are lying i Who's screaming? That's not one of our animals, that's a wild bird. Okay, we're gonna assume some of you actually have not seen the marms. Oh my god, saved. Yes. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Marms! Marmosets are very small primates. Brazilian primates. We have a common marmoset, sometimes called a white tufted marmoset, and a black tufted marmoset. You will be able to tell which one is which by the way they are. Guess which is which. <laughs> so these monkeys somebody bought as a pet it's very sunny isn't it um someone bought these as a pet as pets online uh, and did not know how to take care of them and so they had a really really poor diet before they came to us which meant which 
meant a bunch of medical problems for them. So metabolic bone disease, um, Momo had dental disease, so Momo, the one holding onto that stick, uh, has had more than half of his teeth removed uh, because he had an improper diet. Appa had metabolic bone disease, had the one that just jumped on you, um, had very little use of his back legs when he first came to us a year ago in December, um, but now has full use of his back legs again, thanks to some rehab with us and uh, a nice outdoor enclosure. Uh, this is the first time that they've lived outside in their lives because they were born in captivity and raised in someone's house. Uh, but they much prefer being outside than inside. Um, so they're definitely not pets. Uh, it's super unfair to them to have them as pets, and you also don't want them in your house. <laughs> he, has he bit you? No. Okay, sick. Um, Appa likes Flip a lot. He's on his shoulder right now. Little hands, so cute. Yeah, they're very, uh, they're very handy with their hands. They they can do a lot with those. Uh, their tails as well, not prehensile. They can't grab things with their tails like some other monkey species can, like spider monkeys and stuff. Uh, but they do use them to balance. They'll live really high up in in treetops and swing. Is he watching? Mm -hmm. He's watching. Appa's watching the screen. He likes the camera because of the reflections in the camera. You're being really nice, Appa. They do bite and can shred your nerves. Yeah, they absolutely can bite. Uh, Appa can bite. Momo has a harder time biting, but that's just because he's missing more than half of his teeth. But he also doesn't try biting as much as Appa does. Appa definitely bites. Yeah, they have inside and outside space. But on nice days, like they, they will choose to be outside uh, pretty much every time. But they do sleep inside. Up. <laughs> you get off of him. It's nice. Um, I'll show you guys what their inside space looks like because that's where we're cleaning. Hi, Momo. Here's their inside space. Um, the reason they have inside space, one, because it's safer for them to sleep inside just because of predators and stuff, and two, hi, because they're Brazilian monkeys, um, which means that they're not supposed to live in Texas, so they need some climate control. So they have AC and heating in here, um, which helps keep them safer and, and warmer, um, which is important. Do you guys have questions about the monkeys? Any questions? But Appa and Momo, Are they poop throwers? I have not seen them throw poop with their hands, uh, but their ecological niche is to be a seed disperser. Um, so they will swing around and poop everywhere because it helps with forest regrowth and that's really important. <laughs> I forgot bowls for like everybody. We have seen them throw it on the live cams. Oh, well, I guess they throw poop as well. It's unfortunate. Do they jump on you? Yeah, there's one of them's on the cameraman right now, actually. Actually. Appa? They are both boys. Yeah. He flipped the camera? Oh, you flipped it to show them. Ouch. That's nice. He's clawing me. Papa, are you grooming? That's so nice of you. His little claws are killing me. Hi, 
buddy. It's really stuck in there, huh? Sorry. He's like, are you done with this? I'm gonna bring you more food. Scanning. You want that still? I'm gonna bring you more food. <laughs> this is yesterday's. Okay. He wants more food now. <laughs> Thank you for the raid. Appreciate it. He's mad. for telling me. All right. Let's go see the crows. Oh, cage. Yeah, he was mad I tried to give him that. I think... super high pitched noise. You probably heard it while I was in there because he did it like in my face. Um, that's the, uh, that's the marmosets. They have a lot of vocalizations. That's one of the uh, more just Hi. We thought that was you? Oh. No. Ah. Welcome to the crow enclosure. Ah. That's Abbott. Ah. Abbott. Ah. And that's coconut. Ah. Ah. Buddy. Sorry. Scary. Um, Abbott and Coconut were born in the wild. Um, were born in the wild, but were blown out of their nests by a storm. And so that's why they live here. They really like black rocks. You'll see black rocks on the ledges um, in some places because they collect them. Do you collect rocks, Abbott? This is nice.
Have you seen the big ass crows that are the size of chickens? Uh, like a raven? Ravens look a lot like crows, but they're way bigger. I assume that's what you're talking about. I think, yeah. Ravens are bigger. I don't know if they're like chicken size. But I guess it depends on the type of chicken. But they're pretty big. Bless you! Flip sneezed. Your coats look better. Do they? Clean. Fun time was up for eight months. Happy fun time! I'm a gas vulture that likes to taunt my dogs. Oh, sorry. That's annoying. Abbott! <coughs> what do you think? He's <coughs> 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 like, why are you pointing at me? They don't like being pet or anything like that. But they do like interacting with people. Abbott especially. All vultures are really cool. Dogs wouldn't get it. You're so right. The difference between ravens and crows is ravens are much larger, number one. Um, ravens have a curved upper beak and crows have a straight upper beak. And ravens, when they're flying above you, like if you look straight up, their tail is a V shape. Um, like the tip of the tail goes out in a V and crows, the tip of their tail is flat across um, with the rest of their tail feathers or their train. Um, those are the, the biggest ways to tell them apart. Also, ravens have uh, like a, sort of like a beard um, they have some pretty thick feathers underneath their beak that looks kind of like a beard, and uh, crows do not have that. But the easiest way to tell by far is their size. What do you think, Abbott? He just wants food. All we have to clean after this is the foxes, and then we can start feeding everybody. That's you. We can start feeding you. I hate wrapping up hoses. I hate it. Cringes me out. move what I just did you ever drop a hose that's like one of the handle things and you drop it on the ground like this and the ground pushes the hand <laughs> it's off it shouldn't have done that piss me off fox time you can go ahead of me, because the backpack. <laughs> Bye, Abbott. Foxes. Yeah, 
yeah, they did. Ooh. Put it in forward if you want to drive. Bye, Abbott. Ice cream. Yeah, they did try to release Abbott into the wild before, and he just ended up in a park a couple miles away, landing on people begging for food. Hi, Finn. <laughs> All right, here are the foxes that pee on their water bowls. Let's do donuts. I've never done a donut before. I think I would hate that. Have you? Yes, you have. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I would ask you that question. Finn! Welcome to the fox enclosure. This is Finn. Thank you. Finn is an American red fox. He's cute. His name is Finn, F-E-N-N, -N. Finn. He likes chicken and eggs and pill pockets. He likes cheese flavored pill pockets. Why he's not red. Finn is not red because he was bred for the pet trade. Um, so, somebody bought him as a pet. He was confiscated from the illegal pet trade in California by California Department of Fish and Wildlife. Um, they bred him to look like that because somebody wanted a fox as a pet, but they didn't want him to look like a red fox. That is a color variation that exists in the wild. It's just very, uh, uncommon. What? No! Take it back. No, don't let him pee on. Oh, did he take both? Did he miss? I don't know, I didn't Way to go, cameraman. Way to, way to watch my stuff. Way to go, chat. Way to let the fox take the rags. All right, let's assess the damage on the rags. He missed. We're good. And he only took one. Sick. When I said assess the damage, I mean, did the fox pee on it? Fox's scent post. Uh, so they'll just like pee and poop on everything as a territory thing to be like, yeah, this is mine. Um, it's, really, it's really annoying for humans and it's really handy for foxes because uh, it's how they communicate <laughs> to each other. But it's not something you want in your house. Trust me. Foxes have an inside space as well. Uh, they have heating and cooling too. I'm taking all your poop. Thank you. Take this as well. <laughs> All right. Do that. 
the water bowl. Hi, buddy. Pee bowl. Disinfect. I will say, this is why I usually don't do this much cleaning. It just uh, happens to be today. Uh, I'm the only one here. It's hard for me to clean and stream at the same time. I think it's easier when I'm passing out enrichment and stuff, because then I'm interacting with the animal. I think that's probably more fun for you to watch. I'm sorry I haven't been like talking a bunch. You know what I mean? But this really is the last enclosure that I have to clean. Um, and then we'll go out and hand out diets and you guys can see what they eat. And I think that'll probably be more fun than what currently is happening. Is this on? Ben, what are you doing? Do you ever plan to allow visitors like the public? No, I do not. Um, unfortunately, it's not, I live on site and so it's not safe for me or the animals to make the address public. Um, Cause even though there are a lot of really great people out there, like a lot of you are really great, uh, there are a lot of people that are not so great. So it'll always be online, but it is really cool for our animals uh, to not have to deal with all of the variation that comes with public coming through this facility. You know, uh, people taunting animals at enclosures or like making weird noises or kids screaming or people running. Um, they really get to just chill here uh, and teach people and they don't even know that they're teaching people. They're just hanging out. <laughs> so. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the system that we have, even though I know a lot of you would really love to see them in person. All right. Whoop. Okay. Cool. You guys looking at Finn? He's so cute. These enclosures are so quick to clean. We are good. You guys want to feed some animals? Let's go feed some animals. Shall we? Yep, 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 yep. Yep. We can... Do you want to go back down to the parrots and chickens? Work our way back up again? I got a peach. Feed the parrots 
and the chickens. I think we're gonna distribute their enrichment at the same time. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Mm. No, we're not. We're gonna do that at another time. We're just gonna feed first. Tra Thank you, 96. I need a trash bag. Can you feel the love tonight? It is where we are. Can you open it? Thanks. Hooray! Can Oh, my dirty hamper's in the laundry room. Can you feel the love tonight? Guys, I'm gonna give you a moment with Polly while I pee. Oh my God, how she, she ate so much already. She was afraid of something. Oh, yeah. Doesn't like the microphone, I think. some chickens, so I'm gonna grab a trash bag. Okay. Parrots, chickens. Actually, let me check things off, because it's satisfying. Cleaned, crows. Foxes, marmosets, offered hay to pasture. 
чай. Okay. Hey, Uncle's call being one resupped for 19 months. Smile. Day for the 19 months. Okay. Hello, Beetle. Goodbye, Beetle. every day right, and we try to weigh the parrots as often as possible I'm gonna weigh two of them today uh, the macaws I, I'm not gonna try to weigh cuz I don't think they would like that <laughs> guys and trash bags cool Who would like to be weighed? You guys want to guess how much the parrots weigh in grams? This is their scale, a little bit different from the chinchilla scale, because it's for parrots and not chinchillas, you know? Come here, bird. Hi! Can you come away? Please step up. Please step up. This side. Can you step up? Thank you! Good bird! Yay! She did it! <laughs> Mia is 460 grams. No, okay. Sorry for offering it. 460 grams. Wow. Good job, Mia. There you go. Oops, sorry. Can you go to this one? She doesn't like sunflower seeds that much, but she will eat the uh, pellets. You want the pellet? There you go. Okay. Oh. Forget I asked. Siren, would you like to get weighed? Siren! Here she comes. Oh. Come here. Oh. oh, did you hit your head? Oh. What are you doing? Oh, oh, can't see. Can you step up? Oh, Come here. Can you step up? Can you step up? Thank you. <laughs> Siren is 349 grams. 349 grams. Pretty good, pretty good. Siren, can you show them how you spin? Can you spin? Wow, good job. Can you rewind? 
Good job. Can you say hello? Hello. That's nice. Can you sing? Can you sing happy birthday? Good job. Birthday. Can you laugh? Say, what's so funny? She gives kisses if you say, I love you. Kisses. That's so nice. All right, can you step up? Thanks. She got my finger there. Here you go. Oh. All right, again, not going to bother trying with the macaws because I don't think it's a good idea. All right. Siren. Hello, Birdie. Would you like to step up? That's so nice of you. How about you come over here? How about you come over here? That'll work. We'll feed you guys this way. This is Siren's food? Mia usually gets fed here, but this is what we're doing today. This is Mia's food. This is what they eat. So it's pellets. There's a couple different types of pellets. Um, there's carrot, there's zucchini, apple, squash, um, strawberry, a blueberry, and then they all get a grape today, which is very exciting. Um, and it is all weighed out. Hi, Rune! Here you go, Mia bird. Do you want? And your strawberry. There you go. Yum. Now she eats the pellet and she gets it herself. Cool. The macaws get the same stuff, it's just more of it. Um, and split into two because there's two of them. Here we go. Okay, watch your fingers. And this is for you. Do you want your food? It's right there. It's right here. It's in here. Do you want a pellet? Come here. Do you want this? Okay. And I don't know why you're screaming at me. All right. That's the parrots. People pop, wow. Runner's cake supped for the first time. Fixed to Jake 14 gifted a tier one sub to run escape. They have run escape. <laughs> Yay, Rune. Thank you. Why does he even do that? Attention. He wants to sing happy birthday. the parrots oh shit it's the parrots fed chickens chickens almost my fingers. really do you want to slam your fingers in there hmm? how Oh. Hi, chickens. I have stuff for you. Produce. Dawn for sub. Can I get a people? Hey. People pop. Wow. Nine OG Menas resubbed for 13 months. 
The chickens get produce every day. Today they got lettuce and apples and tomatoes and some blueberries and some zucchini and some squash. I think maybe a little bit of banana too. Yum. Oh, no strawberry. Lettuce? Lettuce, yum. Oh, there's carrot in there too. Lettuce. That's, Oliver is the one making all the noise. Yum. Uh, the chickens also get chicken scratch, like chicken food. They just get produce in addition to that. Male or female, what breed? Oliver is male. He's an olive egger, uh, which means he's some sort of cross with a, of a, red e or a brown egg stock and a blue egg stock. Um, not, as in like a chicken that lays brown eggs and a chicken that lays blue eggs. Nugget is a female. She's an Americana. Um, and she lays blue eggs. 270 subbed for the first time. Divna 33 gifted a tier one sub to Normix 270. Thanks, Divna. They have given Hi. 29 gift subs in the channel. And then uh, Henrique, right here in the middle, uh, is half Brahma, half Sapin. She's big. How many people work here? Uh, we have three animal care staff, uh, not including me. I'm not, I'm not animal care staff. For the first Good time. job, Oliver. Banana, delicious. He took the peel off, that's pretty impressive. Um, thank you, rack addict. Um, We have three animal care staff, and then I'm the executive director, and we have an operations manager, and we have a production technician. And that is us. You should stream more often, this is fantastic. Um, if you wanna see the animals 24 seven, you can watch the Alvea Sanctuary channel. There are live cams on there, okay? It's a little dramatic. Um, you can watch them on the live cams all day. Connor is operations manager. How soft are they? Ah, they're pretty soft, but they don't really like being pet. Blueberry. Touch. <laughs> yeah, no. All right, let's go back up. It's Flip's time to go. Probably time to raid into Alvaeus because it's Flip's time to go. It's three o'clock. What the heck? What? Today. Was it? I think it I mean, I don't think that's true. Yeah, I think it's usually, even. we've been doing like three hours. That was quick. Oh. So you're like actually doing stuff the whole time. I think that's the problem. Yeah, is we're not just like loitering. <laughs> oh yeah, the, the hens in there do lay eggs. Um, our crows eat scrambled egg and so do our foxes. So we feed our eggs back to the other animals here. Busy, busy day. Busy, busy, busy day. Okay. Whoa, whoa. Alrighty. I gotta go to Walgreens. Okay. <laughs> Get a passport. Oh! Flip pass. Are you gonna go today? Mm, uh, hopefully, if it's still open. Flip needs to get a passport. Because we're going to Brazil. 
which I said at the beginning of the stream. I don't know why I brought this up here with me. Yeah, it's still open. Uh, I don't know about like the passport people. Hopefully that's still open. Huh! How big is the property? Uh, we're on 15 acres. Brazil, la 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 la. We're going to Brazil with Purple Martin Conservation. To the Amazon. Do you have yours? Yes. I do. Yeah. We're going to start the read until Alveus. Don't go anywhere because uh, I still have to feed the insects, the crows, the foxes, the marmosets, the chinchillas, and give everybody enrichment. And do laundry and do the dishes and clean the nut house and prep diets for Ella. $100. Corbin! What the heck? Thank you for the hundred dollars. Thank you, Flip. Mm -hmm. Good luck. Yep. Don't go anywhere. I'm doing... I'm still streaming. I'm just streaming on another channel now. On a better channel. A cooler channel. On the Alves channel. Everybody say thanks to Flip. Say it now or he's not going to come back. He left before you guys said it. He doesn't care. <laughs> oh no, he already left. Has the raid started? Yeah. Sick. All right, we're raiding. Um. Hey. Hey. I was gonna say it looks so much worse. <laughs> Thank you. Um Okay. Hi guys. Hello. Um, we have to feed everybody else. So much to do, so much to do. I need to switch this to this. Testing? Yes. Great. Okay. All right. Let's go. Uh, I don't know. Let's go keep the waffle cart. Thank you for the fifty dollar donation. That's sick. Thank you so much. I am going to flip it around. I can't, yeah. I can't stream like this. It stresses me out. <laughs> I hate streaming with a back camera. I know it's better, but I just, I hate it. Okay. Hello, chatters. Welcome to the phone cam because my cameraman is off for the day. My cameraman is stuck at the gate. I think. Subscribed for two months. Alvius sit. Lutrin seventy donated five dollars to charity. Thank you for the five dollars. The Gilexi just resubscribed for four months. Blue O. The 
Xiaomi Galaxy tipped ten dollars. Thank you for the ten. Rigor sticks just subscribed. Thank you for the sub. Okay. I do. I need to take a lunch break at some point too. I'm getting a little shaky. Shut you, Planet. Just resubscribed for twenty five months. Shut up, Planet. Bam coconut. Bam coconut. Thank you. Let's go feed the crows and the foxes. Ray, my raven, just resubscribed for four months. Um, Hi, CEO. Is it like three p.m.? Yeah. Uh, we're gonna go do the foxes, Rebecca crows, and marmosets. to charity. Thank you! Blakey the snake donated five dollars to charity. Foxes? Fox kibble? Toadies? Four dollars and twenty cents to charity. Thank you. Um, crows, uh... Kibble? Produce? And this is the crow enrichment. There's kibble in there. And this is the fox enrichment. There's spooky bags with kibble in there. And then the marms, this is their enrichment. They're cups with some of their diet in it and they have to like open these flaps. To access it, um, and then they have these. So I also need to get. I just resubscribed for eighty months. Carmen. Bonk. Bonk. Thank you. I need the crow water, and I need. Here. And I need marmoset. Stores! Thank you for the ten. And I need marmoset. Store six bowls. just gift to ten subs. Thank you so much. Thank you for the ten. Marmoset bowls. Marmoset bowls. Marmoset bowls. Marmoset bowls. What the heck? Why are there no more recyclables? Are you freaking serious? <laughs> I need to wash two bowls. Stand by. For the sub. Okay. One, two. Camp diet, biscuit diet, gel diet. Delicious. Dishes. So many dishes, man. Alright. 
That's why I didn't want the phone. <laughs> I don't have hands for this. sitting in the boards. Here they are. All right. Now you're gonna have to sit in here and not fall over, you understand? Use your neck, mu neck muscles like a baby. doing very well, I'm gonna be honest. Marmosets, 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 marmosets. Keys, 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 keys. Marmoset, 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 marmoset. But um, dum dum. Tin to bim to tin to dim. Do do do. Do 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 He's a little marmoset, 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 marmoset. For you. Chill diet. Rain 
Thanks, these ghosts just subscribed. Thank you for the sub. Yeah, I'm almost better. What more do you want? There's gel dye in there. Gel dye. Okay. Gremlin. Canned diet. All right. Crows. Goodbye, monkeys. Crows, 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 crows. I'm putting you in the front seat, but I'm not fucking. There's no way he lets you sit there with him. Good luck. Don't be loud. You're not here. You're just a tree.
Oh god. Yeah, maybe that's why, because you were moving. The crows hate it. <laughs> they hate the phone. Foxes. Boxes. Fox diets. Rebecca underscore H9 chip 300 bits. Excuse me, driver. Chat isn't wearing a seatbelt. It's not my problem. Foxes. One fox boy. It's right there. Poor Reed. <laughs> you said you were too close to me. Sorry. I know his coat looks so good. He looks so good. The shadows aren't helping, but it looks really good. The other channel I was just on is mine, Maya. There's Reed. And here's Finn.
this is uh, the same species of fox. He was bred to look like this for the pet trade. Um, and he was confiscated from the illegal pet trade in California. And that's how he ended up here. But he's an American red fox as well. Yeah, this uh, color variation does occur in the wild, it's just uncommon, um, but they artificially select for it in captivity because people think it's cool. I feel like the camera lens is dirty. Are those apples in the bowl? Uh, yeah, I think today he got some squash and zucchini and apple and a little strawberry. They also get egg um, and uh, whole prey sometimes, like rats, quail. Um, today they'll get some rats and so will the crows, or some rat and so will the crows. The foxes get weighed regularly, um, and so we adjust their food based on... Um, if we need to adjust their weight, if they're gaining too much weight or not gaining enough weight. Um, <laughs> but yeah, all their food gets weighed every day. A lot of our animals have heating. Uh, if they don't, we have brought animals inside when it's gotten too cold outside. <laughs> the foxes eat once a day, uh, but they do have some of their diet in their enrichment uh, that they get later on in the afternoon. So kind of twice. Um, and then they also get training sessions once a day. So they get treats and kibble and bits and stuff during that session. I won't be doing a training session today because it's just me. Uh, you kind of need two people here with the two foxes. Otherwise, it's kind of a mess. No, the cages outside are just transport cages, I think. I, I would like to think those are smaller than the legal requirements, but I've never actually measured them. What do you train the foxes for? Uh, like all the ambassadors at Alveas, most of the training that is done is uh, for husbandry behaviors. So things like voluntary injections, voluntary nail trims, um, can we touch them? Can we clean their faces? Um, just stuff so that we don't have to restrain them when vet time comes around. Uh, they don't get trained to do any, you know, tricks for entertainment or anything like that. It's, it's, can you willingly go in a crate and do you feel comfortable doing that? Um, are you comfortable yeah, with us touching you if we have to? to Thank you for the 10. Uh, stuff like that. We have yet to have an issue with predators here. Uh, we've had raccoons and opossums come inside the fence line, but nothing else. 
or, or nothing else that's uh, been problematic for us anyway. We've had some, some gray foxes in the pasture, I think. Snakes too. Owls, yeah. Tarantulas. Domestic cats. I just fed the barbacets if you want to go back in the mod. Uh, Hank definitely did not catch up, but merch sales have been doing pretty well. You can still get Christmas sweaters if you guys want one. Or two, or three. Did you finish? I've not helped the bow test sister. I actually don't know what kind of bird they got. They, they asked me. I advised, I advised against it. But I don't know what they ended up doing. What kind of bird is it? Good job, buddy. Nice. 
to call on you or something. Huh. Well, I don't know. I'm not the voice of God. People can do whatever they want. Good job, boys. Good job. Thank you, Reed. Thank you, Finn. Alright, you guys will get some rats later. Yummy. break because I need to or I will wither away and die but then um, either on the live cams or I'll come back with the phone uh, I will distribute and I still have a lot to do today so see you guys in a bit That's in my chat, isn't it? Yep. Nope. Just kidding. Hey guys. Um. Thank you. Where's that coming from? Is that? Oh, that's coming from you. Oh, okay. That's fine. Um. Hi, guys. Really quick really quick. Uh, that was fast food. I have not taken a break yet, but I think I should do this before I do. You guys need any holiday gifts by chance? <laughs> do you need any holiday gifts by chance? Potentially for a man in your life. Um, American Eagle has got you covered. Perhaps a flannel? Maybe? Huh? Or, uh, jeans? Athletic fit jeans? Relax fit jeans? Pant? Maybe? Cargo cord carpenter? Uh, men's joggers? That is stretchy fabric that's moisture wicking and cool to the touch and cool, uh, to look at. Straight fit jeans? Um, featuring, featuring classic carpenter detailing if you want to look handy, even if you're not, don't, it don't matter. You could still look like it. Jeans, relax fit jeans, move with you flexibility, moves with you flexibility. Softer and more comfortable than ever, athletic fit jean, classic straight leg fit designed with extra room in the thigh. Men's tops. Flannel shirts, soft and comfortable, go-to, closet staple. You can dress up, down, and layer. Jacket, super warm fleece with plenty of pockets. Sweatshirt with no large logos on the front. Soft hoodie quilted lined hood to keep you extra toasty this winter. Um, and also men's underwear. They have antimicrobial flex fabric, which is perfect for everyday wear. And they have fun Funny, comfortable, limited time holiday styles. Let's look at them, shall we? Here we are. Men's clothes. 
men's hoodies. Wow. Show us the men. Here they are. Athletic jeans, relaxed jeans, boot cut jeans, straight leg jeans, slim jeans, skinny jeans. Wow. Men. Tops. Shirts and flannels. Polos. T-shirts and thermals. Look how fast he's going in this because he's wearing this shirt. This is nice. Wow. I like that. Um, 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 um. Hoodies and sweatshirts. Sick. Pretty sick. Jackets and coats. Holy moly. Look at this. 24-7 puffer jacket. In blue mist. Look how stylish. Made for any adventure. Ridiculously soft. Breathable. Made with the planet in mind. What does this mean? Products with a real good badge are the most sustainable items in our collection. Lauren, do you see real good that you can trust? 50% of the garment is made with materials that have been evaluated as having lower environmental impact compared to traditional options. Denim products use 36% less water on average than our previous production methods and incorporate water recycling practices. That's cool. That's cool. Space Cat, you are the reason companies don't try. It's such a pet peeve of mine. Okay. Um, underwear. Also fun. If you want to get someone in your life something for Christmas, whether it be your significant other or your partner or your brother or your father look at all these fun ones or your uncle you get him scratch and sniff hot cocoa boxers do you want your significant other to smell like hot chocolate now you can Wow. Okay, also. Snowman underwear. Snowman boxers. And these. Also fun. Christmas hat. Nice. <laughs> Bottoms and cargos. Let's look at these. Let's look at these cargos. Pant! Carpenter pants! Anomal anomalous thank you for the fifty dollar donation thank you so much um look at these carpenter pant <laughs> look at all these pockets it's like you're a carpenter look there's a little hook in here for your hammer see this you put a hammer in there that's amazing do you really want to look like a carpenter though you got to go like this it's got to be this. Pant. Or. No, that's too late. Either golden oak or khaki. If you want to really look like, if you really want to cosplay a woodworker. And you can put a hammer in your, in your pants now. If you want to.
American Eagle menswear, you guys. If you're not a man, you probably have men in your life. Jeans and bottoms, athletic fit jean, relaxed fit jean, pant, cargo cord and carpenter pants, men's joggers, men's tops, flannel shirts, jackets, sweatshirts, and men's underwear. You guys can get it all this holiday season, especially the underwear. There's limited time holiday styles available for you uh, on American Eagle. At American Eagle. Go check them out. Thank you, American Eagle, for this for this bounty. Um, thank you guys for watching. That is all. I know. <laughs> but wait, there's more. I don't know who's gonna clean that up, but you gotta respect the sheer chaos of it, don't you? Why is it so satisfying to break stuff? Why do we get a kick out of smashing apart a pinata or popping bubble wrap? Whoa! <laughs> this is what Swedish developer Tuxedo Labs was wondering when they put together what we're looking at here. It is. Teardown, a real-time physics simulation game with fully destructible environments. I... wait, is someone gonna do something about that? Ah, there we go. Anyway, does destruction make us feel powerful? Is it a way to release the frustrations of everyday life? Maybe it's about instant gratification, or the beauty of disorder. Turns out, the team didn't need a lot of fancy research to prove one undeniable fact. Breaking stuff is fun. And the bigger the stuff, the bigger the fun. That's why we play games, right? To have fun. You feel that? That's pure satisfaction. And we don't want to just knock things down. No, no. We want to build them up, too. You know, the whole circle of life. So Tuxedo Labs is working away. They craft a story built around heist and demolition objectives. And boom! They've got a critically acclaimed hit. In Teardown, so many people play, create, and share their experiences together. We spend our days working, shoring things up, establishing and keeping order. But here, with us, here it's okay just to tear it all down. Teardown, available now on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, and Series S. Available now. Teardown is a voxel-based sandbox game all about environmental destruction and simulated physics. It has a full story campaign, tons of challenges, a sandbox mode, a creative mode, and even a user, even user-created modes. It is out now on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series. Hmm. And Xbox. Thank you. All right, I'm taking a lunch break. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate it. Goodbye. I'll be back. You're really POV in now. I need my hands. So if this is dumb, and shaky and like hard to watch then let me know but this is what I'm doing right now all right I need to go to the pasture get my f10 bottle and bring these down to the parrots lock the parrots put a sarrow in give Winnie grain
UTV POV. going to we're gonna give Winnie grain before we let a sarrow in we also need to refill hay bags again POV Stompy Hug. Chicken! 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 Oh. I feel so mobile right now. See, I'm gonna let you in in a second. I need to let Winnie eat first. Did I seriously? Did I actually, for real, for real? I didn't. Oh, it's so annoying. the cow. I forgot, um, I forgot the keys on the UTV to let a Sarah in. He's pissed. Hi, Donk. I'll let Winnie eat. I'm gonna go give these to the parrots. Lock the parrots and chickens. Get the keys on the way back. Come back here. Grab the hay bags. Refill them. Let a sarrow in.
And get the F10, thank you. Thanks, Matt. Hey. Hello? Hello? Hello, Brady. That a boy. <laughs> Backing up. What's that? It's enrichment. Oh God. There's drama up there. Tigo said, do not. These are for you. Yay, fun time. Too close. Sorry. Mia. Mia. No, Miley, what the heck? Okay, well, Tico's doing a great job. getting treats. Hmm. Mia. Mia. Mia, did you see yours? Here. Oh, jeez. Here? Where are you? Come on. This be you. Yay! You can't... It's tied to the... Okay. Um, maybe you should come down here and eat it down here. You know? You know? Like over here? Okay, I'm just gonna let you sort that. Siren, you should stay where you are. I think. Did you drop something? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, you dropped some... Wait! <laughs> Sorry! Oh, you saw them drop something? Oh, Tico's dropping stuff. <laughs> okay.
They have the same stuff in there, it's just Nutriberry. But Tico's getting it out of the straw and dropping it on the ground. Siren was having a hard time getting out of the straw, so. Okay. Well, this is a disaster, I'm gonna leave. Lock. Lock. <laughs> Lock. Need keys. Hi, Trip. Hi, Trip. You. 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 Please. Do not. Keys. The donkeys not let Winnie eat? Do they do that? I thought Winnie was like second to a Acero. Did I need to stay for her to eat? Or did she already eat and the donkeys are now over here? I feel like the donkey is eating Winnie's food right now. That is, yeah, that's what's happening. Hey! Winnie, what the hell? You're supposed to be, like, way stronger than them. Leave her alone. Boop. 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 What? No! <gasps> the drum! Sure? <laughs> Interesting. Not for you. Yeah, not for you. Halt. Not for you. You're bold. You're bold and brazen. Every time, misdemeanor. 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 She's done. Excuse me. You ate it all, literally just now. There's nothing in there. 
Winnie, holy shit. Do you understand? She doesn't. Sarah. Fill hay bags. Yeah, canopies are for temperature and algae. For this one, anyway. These ones are like just shade, extra shade. Hello, horsey. Space, you want to guest star me in if I'm not already? Or do we not want to bother them again today? Bud, you looking for something? You guys want to see something cool? Well,
guys want to see it again? Wow. What do you think? Thank you for the resub. Okay. Hi. Hey bags. I win. Hey bags. Sorry. For you. Stompy feather. Cool. Wind's going that way. It's three o'clock, everybody. Hi, Stomp. Beep, 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 beep. So relaxing. Damn it, 96, this is your fault. You try it? No, you've actually been helpful today, thank you. <sighs> is that the macaws? Yeah, that's the macaws. It is. It's the macaws. Hey, buddy. Come for an F10 bottle. dripping. Stop that. Stop dripping. There's a goat in the UTV.
from behind this here. Get out! More dishes. So many dishes, man. So many dishes. Enrichment for up there. We have to wait for the gate to open. Keys.
boys. Some enrichment. Crows. Thank you for such a great day today and you letting us follow along the whole time. Now it's five o'clock. You deserve a beer or two. Yeah. Seems good. Beer or two would be great, but I am nowhere near done. So, oh, the rat. Enrichment is really anything that we give them that gives them the opportunity to engage in natural behavior. So a lot of times it is a toy where they have to get their food out because a lot of these animals in the wild would be foraging for food. Um, but there's also scent enrichment. Uh, there's sound enrichment. Um, there's exploratory walks as a form of enrichment. Um, it, it, it can come in a lot of different forms. Oh, I need to get this a rat. I need to take this chest mount off because I'm not going to POV me cutting up a rat for y'all. It's just that's too much. Whatever. Working nine to five. Yeah. 
You don't think it looks good like this? Thanks. What is it? It's right there at the top. You just push down and then it just pops out. Which way? It just pull. Like left, right? Thank you. We're gonna do four, wrap into four pieces for the crows and the foxes. It's part of their enrichment today. Whole prey, except the whole prey is cut up into four pieces, but it's still whole prey because it has all of the organs and bones and stuff in it, you know? not frozen. It was frozen yesterday and then was thawed yesterday. Um, for noodle, but she didn't eat, so. Yeah, she ate not too long ago. Um, I think Patchy is still getting mice air er, dried, not dried, heated up with a hair dryer. Yeah. No mites on noodle yesterday, but she needs to go 60 days with no mites.
glove is just so I can distribute the rat. It doesn't have like blood on it or anything like that. Don't worry. Cozy vibes all day. Oh, yeah, no problem. I'm glad it's cozy for you. <laughs> it's like working all day, but it's like chill because you guys are sitting watching. It's funny. Yeah, thank you for watching. I appreciate that. All right. All right, we go again. Crows. Let's see. <sighs> Sorry, I didn't mean to show you that. Hi, boys. One enrichment, two enrichment, one rat, bit, two rat, bit. boxes. Now, this glove is ratty. Uh, I think just today for coconut. Hi boys! Hello. Would you like to take a rat bit? You can take one. Good job. Good job. I'm gonna give this one to Reed. Would you like a rat? Here you go. He's okay. He's in the air. Oh, yum. Rat bit. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. My goodness. Yum. Okay. Crunchy. <laughs> Is it crunchy? It's rat. A rat. Do you hear Reed? I gave him the skull. That's why it's so crunchy. Good job, bud. Here, this is for you, too. Want one?
Okay. <laughs> this for you. This for you. This for you. Job. There's kibble in there. All right, Fox Boys. to feed the insects today. We need to do all the dishes. We need to do all the laundry. Put away laundry. You fold new laundry. Refill the humidifier. Start the distilleries. And do all the dishes. And clean the nut house. And do diets for Ella. <laughs> You know, I don't think I need this anymore. Yeah, I did, Corbin. I like when Hank is on cam and we can hear him rolling down the tracks like ditched. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Thanks, Togo. Insects. Whoa. And feed. 
need the chinchillas. Salty Chrome just resubscribed yeah. for 25 months. Alvius Hay. Thank you for the 25 months. Hi. Salty. Appreciate it. Here you go. Insects and humidifier. Come here. Insects. And humidifier. Do 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 Lindsay's amazing. Marcelinus 543 just resubscribed for five months. Powder orange isopods. Sorry, Spanish orange isopods. Squash, sweet potato, carrot, apple. Spuds, just a few more. Zucchini, carrot. Oh, cucumber, zucchini, carrot, apple, sweet potato, banana, banana, squash. Cute. Hank More zucchini banana Roaches. These are maybe roaches. As in we don't know if they're male or female.
cockroaches. Roach container. Submit. That sucks. The boys. Baked bean. Mealworms. You guys okay? Doesn't look like it. Are you serious? <laughs> Dude! Okay. Mealworms. Superworms. Fill humidifier. Max fill line on this thing. Oh, it's right here. I don't know how wide that, I feel like the camera's pretty wide. Thank you. 
refill distilleries. Run distillery. Muffy just bought Alvia's hoodie. Nice! Thank you! Cephal, I'm just resubscribed for 17 months. Poop. Savlon, thank you. Insect maintenance. You feel humidifiers. Run distillery. Whoa, check that out. Boom, bam. Refill humidifiers. Lock enclosures. Pasture parrots, chickens locked. Shins locked. Marmosets, crows, foxes locked. Animal care entry space is done because of the weights. Now I just need to do cleaning and I need to prep diets for Ella. Let me put these blankets away. Ugh. get the laundry. Thank you.
cream o'clock. I'm friends with a monster. He's on my Get along with the voices inside my head. Trying to save me. Do, 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 do. do you think I'm crazy? Do you think I'm crazy? Do, 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 do. Oh, that's not fair. Do 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 do. I dropped a towel. I see him. Space, if you're listening, you can leave whenever. You don't need to stay until I'm done streaming. It's gonna be a while. Oh! Casualty. one dollar to charity thank you <sighs> laundry done power button I don't know what the power button is is that it clean and disinfect prep table Dishes. Oh, this is just water for the distillery.
pain. Pain. Friends with the monster. On my bed. Get along with the voices. Side of my head. Trying to save me. I'm in love with a stripper. Yeah, I think I found the one. What? Thank you for the hundred. What the heck? so much. It's 10k if you should share it. That's crazy. Just gonna go straight into getting a dishwasher. I'm being serious. <laughs> we are getting a dishwasher. <laughs> No, I did not think Fitz Charity would be like it is. I don't think anybody did, to be honest. I kind of thought it was just another, like, I don't know. Something that sounds cool that what, isn't that cool, but it actually is pretty cool. Dude, my name's 1541. Just resubscribed for 14 months. Thank you for the resub. Yeah, the animal bowls are dishwasher safe. They're either stainless steel or really uh, thick plastic like this one. They're good. Part easily. I don't think they're supposed to.
gets 100% as far as I understand. I mean, PayPal gets a percentage. PayPal donations. PayPal's always had a percentage. Oh, if it's through PayPal's giving fund, then we are good to go. know about the dishwashing stone. Found a girl that can do the fun with the crew and she just like me and all she wanna do is do dishes and cry. Do dishes until we die. Raindrops on roses and whiskers on kittens. Stompy eats rings and Georgie eats children. weighs a hundred pounds. Yay, Matt! I'm so glad. I want mine. What the frick? You're EU and you got your damn sweater before me? this organization you got your damn sweater before me piss me off
Yeah, then quarter. I love alpacas. You never got your night mode shirt, dude. I'm so sorry. I'm so tired of fixing mistakes for that merch company. I, I trust me. I had no control over who gets what or how they got it or if they got it. I'm so sorry. We're not with that merch company anymore. I know that the time was really long because it was a pre-order. that bad. Thought that'd be way worse. Would you guys rather be like this for me prepping diets for tomorrow or on the nut house cam? Sweet the nut house, but I'm gonna do it at the very end. Now I just have to do diets. Ooh. Yay, diets. I love it. <sighs> All right. I need those dishes. I also need produce though. I need some food. A food. Uh oh. Some of these fruits are bad. I'm going to toss these fruits. They're moldy. bowls.
here we go, huh? Crows. 40 grams of kibble. I would do the whole, how much do you think this is? Uh, but y'all have had enough fun today and I want to go home. <laughs> so. That'll work. This phone doesn't stop slipping. If you lived here, you already be home. Excuse me. <laughs> Foxes. One hundred and seventy. Hello, Polly. Why is this not zeroing out? Zero out. Cause thirty grams. That works. Fifteen grams in here. Hello. You bitch. Zero out. Oh my god. Great. Ten. Ten. Eighteen? That's not eighteen gra- I don't trust the scale, it's stressing me out. Dude, what? What? Okay. Die. Stay over there and die. Great. I need more 
of this high potency diet. back your absolute disaster of a scratch setup okay all right holy shit there you go psycho what the heck was that of produce la 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 produce Seventy grams of produce. Just a little squash, and then we're good. Crows, almost done. Need egg.
five grams. Which is fine. Chickens.
for the chickens, one of them is for Polly. Christmas enrichment stream. I forget what the date is on that, but do not need to be done. Foxes are done. It's tomorrow's in line. Toast needs food. Fuji23 just resubscribed for eight months. for toast. Produce for toast. That he doesn't even eat.
through toes, so I've never done it before. What's up, Hammy? this set delicious um, I don't know I don't know if it happened
them so. diet. Space may know that, I don't know. to produce for the rats.
means it just resubscribed for five months. Excited for my obvious Hank sweater here. Thank you. Dishes. toast. on strike. The employees are not on strike. Connor and Kayla are moving into a new house. I had to beg Lindsay to take one of her mental health days because they have two each year and she hasn't used any and they don't roll over. So that's why Lindsay's not here.
wish I had mental health days. You know what's sick? Is I think mental health days is a great idea. Right? Obviously. And as the executive director, I could just be like, one day I was just like, can we do this? And Connor was like, yeah, for sure. And I was like, all right. Write it in the handbook. And that was it. And then boom, bam, everybody has two mental health days. Searching the live camps because that's pretty much it. Goodbye, everybody. I will not see you tomorrow.